Welcome to our first 72 hour fast of 2024. I have been trying to regain some metabolic health since the beginning of the year after I found out my A1C was up at 9.1. <laughs> and so I went back to a very strict keto lifestyle, which I started back in 2019, but I took a little break from last year and it had some not so happy results. So I've been back on a strict, stricter keto regimen and also uh, trying to get my fasting game back because I had really loosely been following like a 16-8 kind of intermittent fasting schedule. Uh, but um, I was able to get back into a more strict one with the help of my wonderful wife, Dev, and and then we worked up to a 24-hour fast. And then last week, after we did four days of OMAD, I was like, I think I want to do a three-day water fast. Um, and it's okay if you don't join me, but I think I want to do that to see if I can get my blood sugar even lower. Because even though it's gone way down, um, like this morning, it was at 137, and last night it was at 120. When I started, it was at 253 in the morning, and then 210 at night. So um, that's what I'm recovering from. And I'm hoping this three-day fast is going to get me to at least below 100 at night. Um, we'll see. I'm going to check in just really briefly by video twice a day during this three-day fast. And I'll let you know how it goes. Right now we're at about 20 hours and I feel great. I had some moments of brain fog around um, brunch time when we usually eat brunch. <laughs> I was starting to lose it. I think it was just like psychologically, I don't think physically anything bad was happening. I think just psychologically I started to feel unwell um, around brunch because I wanted to eat. I'm just used to eating. And they say in the research that, you know, your hormones start acting up about the same time that you usually eat every day. So I think that's what happened. So we're in the 25th hour of our 72 hour water fast and just wanted to check in. I'm tired. We worked a lot today. Um, worked this morning on a presentation we're doing. What else did we do? Um, we both shot, in addition to the vlog, we both um, shot videos for our shorts this week because we figured the first day we would be the, you know, in the best Sharpest. shape to do it. Yep, yeah. to do it. And then we worked on um, some other couples counseling, this couples counseling project that we're working on. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, we just finished working on that. We're not even quite done, but. And a whole lot of marketing. So mm -hmm. yeah, I kind of wish that we had done less in retrospect because now I'm really wiped out. But we're in the 25th hour, which means we finished the first day. Yep. Um, my blood sugar last I checked was, it was, you know, it was good yeah. for a diabetic. It was over 100, but still lower than usual. And then uh, death was 81. It was 81 or 87? 81. 81, okay. Which is awesome. Um... So, yeah, and all we've had is tea and water and coffee. Today. And we were both wearing ketosis. Yes. Yeah, yeah my ketone level was 1.8. And mine was 1.7. Awesome. Yeah, doing great. Hi, it's hour 40 of our 72-hour fast. That means we're more than halfway through. Um, I have really had an interesting experience. Um... I feel like last night, just as we were going to bed, I finally hit that place 
that people talk about where you get really hyper alert and focused and I had a heck of a time falling asleep and then I woke up at 4.05 this morning um, also just you know ready to do some work um, but now we're uh, coming to the middle of the morning and I'm I'm getting sleepy again I don't know if I'll be able to take a nap but I think that's what I'm gonna do I am told this is about hour 40 of our 72 hour fast um, yeah it's going fine so far just tested my blood sugar it's 69 and my ketones are at 0.5 um, feeling pretty good more tired than hungry um, super happy that we're self-employed <laughs> and can work at our own pace um, but yeah it's going fine can't wait for hour 72 okay I think we're at 50 and a half hours of fasting that's uh, a long time congratulations almost there <laughs> Um, what do you think was the hardest part of this fast so far? Well, um, I started to really crave carbs today. That was, uh, kind of unusual because even before the fast, we weren't doing many carbs since the first of the year. Um, so yeah, to be like craving carbs and uh, we watched TV and every time they mentioned carbs or anything, they mentioned pizza bagel on a TV a little while ago and I was jonesing for a pizza bagel. Yeah. 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 It is weird. Like for me, um, whenever I've gotten hungry, it's really helped to think about eating some of my favorite food. And most of that's actually been food that we can eat while we're being strictly keto. But one of the meals I pretend to eat in my mind today <laughs> was chicken joy and mashed potatoes and gravy. Oh, that's funny. From uh, Jollibee. Oh, it was delicious in my mind. It was so good. <laughs> when you said you were pretend eating, I was pretend eating. Actually, I was pretend eating that uh, shirataki noodles with beef and veggie thing that you do uh, which is like my favorite are like uh, it's actually our keto spaghetti switch. <laughs> so i was like picturing like a big bowl of that um when i was when i was pretend eating we're at six 62 hours and 47 minutes of fasting oh yeah yay us that's why i thought 63 mm -hmm. yeah yeah okay, okay. Yeah. Yep, 62 hours. we're so uh proud of ourselves and um, last night I hit a milestone that I was really hoping would happen. Wasn't sure. Um, I got my blood sugar under 100. My blood glucose last night was 93. Um, just remarkable because six weeks ago, uh, just about, it was 253. So really happy about that. Yeah, really proud of you. Really proud of us for doing this and but. Definitely proud of you for taking, you know, taking control of this thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really happy about it. And then um, also, so far on this fast, I've lost three pounds, which I also wasn't sure if I'd get like, yeah. any weight loss from it, but I was happy to just get the, like, you know, cellular regeneration. But so far, three pounds down, and that's exciting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I'm really, like, just impressed with the science about the cellular generation, too. And, the, um, you know, like, kind of, like, the gut biome stuff. Like, mm -hmm. it's super exciting with a 72-hour fast, you know? Like, to think that it, that it can heal parts of your body. And I was just counting on that. <laughs> like, okay, I'll just use that as my positive pointer. But I've, I've actually shed six pounds since the OMAD. Yeah. So that's really great because I wasn't losing any weight at all as we were. Yeah. Yeah. From all this strict keto eating. Yeah. And so to see that the scale's finally starting to go in the right direction with this is, is pretty amazing. Yeah. As of this morning, I was six pounds down. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how much of that's been since the 72 hour fast started, do you think? Two of it has been two since the se okay. two, hour, two pounds. And yeah, and yeah, just when we, actually when we did OMAD, I still hadn't lost. When we start, it's weird. When we started to go back, when we went back to like eating our two meals a day for that week, that's when the weight loss, the weight loss happened mm -hmm. when we went back to eating normally. Mm -hmm. And so that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's happened to me before. It's like, I'm doing all this stuff that's supposed to make me lose weight. And then it doesn't until I stop doing the thing, you know? It's yeah. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was so tired last night too. And this morning I feel really good. It's like I was up, I was dancing. I was feeling like I can just do, we've been doing teas and coffees and, you know, a coffee in the morning and tea and, um, you know, some teas throughout the day and, and, and water and stuff. But I was feeling like, ah, you know, today I might just do water. It feels like since we've done so much, this, you know, getting to dinner time seems like a walk in the park. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And dinner, excited about dinner. Like we, we, when we were looking at, you know, you know, how to break the fast, um, you know, you break it first with a, uh, we're going to break it first with bone broth. So, mm -hmm. so bone broth is a what? Do you remember? Bone it broth is like a, there, there's like the probiotic, prebiotic, all that. Oh yeah. yeah. The pro bone broth is just bone broth. Bone broth is it's just like bone broth. So you break it from protein and collagen. You yeah, know, liquid yeah. form. Yeah. And then we're going to go to uh, probiotic. And we decide we're going to have um, kimchi. We have kimchi. Is, is that? Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to go to our actual dinner like an hour later. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is, yeah. is uh, we're doing shrimp and um, shirataki noodles and asparagus. The way they recommend it is though in four steps. They say like do like a bone broth and then do like a pickled thing. That's a kimchi. And then they say, then do like your, 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 you know, like your veggie, your green leafy or your, or your, maybe your, your asparagus or do, then do your clean protein. Um, but we're actually going to do a three step one, bone broth, kimchi, and then, and th a half hour between them, mm -hmm. you know, half hour between them. And then our, our dinner, which is shirataki noodles. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. And uh, shrimp and asparagus. Yeah. I'm super excited. Ah, hello. So now we're at about 21 and a half hours post our 72 hour fast. And I thought it would be good to come on and just talk about the experience overall and what we learned. Great. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. yeah, that was the point plan of this video. <laughs> well, well, it's the, what would you call the, the uh, best parts of the fast? I think just that we, um, it was actually a cool experience to have together, you know, um, and to be able to uh, kind of go through it without losing our minds, without, you know, arguing and, you know, because food is a big part of our lives and to sort of take that away, um, it could have led to all sorts of things, but it was just kind of fun to see, here's another challenge that we were able to, to get through, you know, mm -hmm. and to, to, you know, I feel like it brought us closer. Um, yeah, yeah, just to be able to do it together. And all the, you know, I feel better. I mean, I feel, I feel really good for having done it, both psychologically and physically. I don't know how much is, is what, you know? I mean, like my knee that was hurting during is not hurting anymore and makes me wonder like, okay, did the fast do something great for um, inflammation that was, that was happening there? Um, because I have arthritis in my knees. Um, so yeah, just wondering what good the fast did. That's, that's, that's the, a good part too. Mm -hmm. What's the best part for you? What was the best part for you? Um, uh, well, number one, like getting through it. Right. Um, cause I really was challenged during it cause I was so tired. I, it really affected my sleep. And so just getting through it without saying, ah, you know what? I can't do it was a big deal. And then um, the other thing I thought was a big win was the weight loss. And I only lost three pounds and I'm thrilled, but. Yeah, well, I lost since last week, eight pounds. And it's interesting because we, um, yeah, it's interesting because we've been strictly keto for, since the new year, we'd started, you know, we we're just gonna be keto. And uh, I hadn't lost anything, you know? And even when we started OMAD, hadn't lost anything. And so it was hard to sort of, stay positive and keep going and just sort of 
say, oh, but it's doing great things for my body. The scale doesn't matter. And then last Friday, a couple pounds came off. And then, you know, as of this morning, it was a total, total weight loss of eight pounds. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that, I mean, that's super cool. And, and how much did you get just from the, during the three-day fast? Um, I think it was just two pounds during the three-day fast. Oh, okay. I think so. Does that count the, the weight you saw gone this morning? Everything, yeah, a total of eight pounds. Okay. For between, not just, not just, I'm sorry, not just the 72. So I guess during the 72 hours, I maybe I lost five pounds. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying. Yeah, I gotcha. think you lost more than me. Yeah, so five pounds, three pounds, that's eight pounds combined. There you go, right? eight pounds combined. <laughs> Yeah, I was counting. I was counting the the little bit that started right after the OMAD. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And and um, there were definitely challenges, but it wasn't like the worst time I've ever had. No. You know, no. like not even close, not even close. And some things I learned were um, that after I think it was at the beginning of the second night, my brain got that super alert thing that people talk about with longer fast and it really kept me from sleeping. So before I do another long fast, I need to figure out how to manage that, how to get myself to sleep in spite of that. Cause yeah. it made the second and third days really hard cause I was tired on top of hungry. Yeah, yeah, Sue woke up this morning and said that her, her she, she loved the way her head felt. It felt like a head again. <laughs> <laughs> I, her normal head, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then the other, um, I'm trying to think of the other challenges. Maybe you remember one or two for you. Um, yeah, well, so after we started eating, like, gastrointestinal distress, you know, and even after um, brunch today, which was, you know, a typical brunch that we normally eat, could only eat part of it, and then still, like, a little bit of a, a sore um, tummy, you know, and so... I mean, I think that'll resolve itself, but like just everything having, uh, you know, you know, things not um, being used to working because we weren't putting food in and just sort of readjusting. So that part, but actually during, during the fast, I remember like one day being so tired, so wiped out. I think, yeah, we'll see it on, on the video when we see the video that one night that I was so, so tired. But yeah, feel good to be on the other side of it right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'll definitely have a small first meal the next time because this time we started out good with just bone broth but then after a half an hour I was like oh let's just have our meal and even though it was I don't know a light meal it was a pretty light meal you compared know? to our normal meals it was still too much I think I need to keep like appetizer portions when I break up fast. Yeah, yeah, small portions, right? Yeah, and actually, like, like we said, it wasn't like a huge meal, you know, and it was like light stuff, but, right. It, and, and then that's what we did. We are supposed to do the bone broth and then the pickled thing and then, and then like, the vegetable and then, you know, a clean protein. But we just said, let's mix the, the, the pickled thing with the, you know, with the, with the vegetable with the clean protein. Just do that um, all in one kind of sitting so we didn't, we didn't stretch it out half hour by half hour. And the main reason was it wasn't so much that we were so hungry, although we were. Um, <laughs> it was that, you know, it would make supper happen too late. You know, we'd be yeah. stretching in the evening, waiting a half hour between these tiny courses. Oh, and then last night, yeah, Sue got really kind of, as she was cooking dinner, really tired. And I said, no, you've got to finish cooking dinner, get in the kitchen and make it happen. <laughs> No, no, no. So no. So I, 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 um, I had before been saying, you know, do you want some help? She, she loves to, to cook and get in that zone. Um, and so yeah, I, I, I uh, yeah. So I, I wound up finishing up the cooking of the dinner. Um, she got really yeah, hot. and then after I ate the meal part of our first meal last night, I got really dizzy and, you know, messed up. My poor stomach was really not well. And so, yeah, I really think I have to introduce food more slowly in a long fast. Yeah, introduce more f food more slowly. And also, because of it being so kind of exhausted after doing I think really just have the meal. It's prepared. It's just like has to maybe go in the microwave to be heated up instead of like trying to figure out like chopping vegetables and all that stuff. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah.
But I yeah. feel good being on the other side. I'm so glad we did it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad we did our 72-hour fast. And yeah, I mean, what about, what about, so there's the weight loss, but then, like, what was your sugar? Oh, yeah. So my my blood sugar, I think I told you guys before, it had been kind of high at the end of January. So I've really been, you know, trying to get it down. And it has been coming down gradually. But, you know, at the end of January, it was at 214. And... Um, at one point during the fast, I was able to get it down to 93. Right, right. And then um, my morning um, glucoses are usually a little higher, but this morning it was something like 120. Yeah, it's yeah. like at 120. And um, that's <laughs> remarkable. I think that that fast did a lot of good for my blood glucose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be interested to see what my readings are because, you know, I'd gotten the, the you know, my, my A1C was, mm -hmm. was at 5.7 um, uh, previous to this, which is just borderline, it's supposed to be no higher than 5.7, right? And so I'm, I'm, you know, if I kept going the way that I was going, I might have been in trouble. So it'd be interesting to see what new readings are. I was able to stay in ketosis really, yeah, last night I think it was 3.0, 3 right? I was, I was at 3.0. Um, in ketosis, so yeah, I mean, I think, and then my blood sugars were like 60, it was like 61 last night, so my blood sugars seem to be pretty, pretty good, so hopefully I kind of averted damage that was being, might have, you know, if we continue the way we were going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. If you've ever done a 72-hour fast, tell us about it in the comments. It's really interesting to hear different people's experiences. Um, yeah. Yeah, and how they did it. Yeah. Love to hear from you. So, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>